Okay, next thing is we've got the sensor plate and it's got these three uh, pickups. And what happens is obviously the blade from the rotor here goes in between the pickups and that's what triggers it to uh, fire the plugs. So we've got a nice long cable and what we do is we feed that cable up in through the hole in the bottom of the case in there. And it should go straight through and come out the back. There we go. So I'm just going to pull that through. Then all we do is when I get it all the way through is we simply set the plate up. Uh, but I've got to get it in the right place. We simply screw that plate to the timing cover. We have to make sure it's in the right place. Yeah, and uh, so we've got these three slots and they go over the three screw holes. And from the instructions, I know that this slot where the wire goes in is goes over that hole there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to screw the pillar bolts in, the original pillar bolts that came with the points. And the only difference is they've got two washers added on the bottom. I've got a brass one there for some reason, brass pillar bolt. So we've got two washers because this sensor plate is thinner than the original points plate. And uh, basically get it rough, yeah, roughly in the middle. Because you see later on, then the slotted, the slotted plate allows us to move and get the uh, timing dead on later on when we uh, put the strobe on it. And uh, it does recommend, they do recommend they have some packing or something, uh, or rubber or something in between this pillar bolt and the wiring just to stop the chafing. Because Triumph, in their wisdom, decided to put the pillar bolt right next to where the, the wiring goes through the casing. So, I mean, it's a problem with uh, points as well as this. So, I'm just going to tighten these up loosely. Uh, that's a bit weird. I see. I've got a pillar bolt without uh, the actual points cover screws into the end of the pillar bolts, but I've only got two with a screw hole, and the third brass one has no screw hole. And that is weird because I know that, that anyway, that there is, we'll see later on, there is an aftermarket points cover fitted to this bike which only has two screw holes in it. And I've been wondering around about that, but obviously for some reason, this is what it does. Normally you use all three to screw the points cover on, but they've got this aftermarket alloy one fitted here. So I shall refit it. I don't particularly like the aftermarket alloy ones myself. You can get them that say Triumph on and you can get the finned ones and so on. I don't like them. I don't, but I mean, it's obviously it's a matter of total personal choice. But I, I like to put the original, so just the original uh, chrome cover on myself. But we will be refitting the uh, aftermarket alloy one that, that came with the bike. Okay, so I haven't over-timed it because, of course, when the bike started, one of the first things we'll be doing will be adjusting that timing with a strobe. And so, and then when it's fully timed, when it's properly timed with a the strobe, then we'll time these down. Because once it's... The advantage of electronic ignition, well, one of the advantages, is that once it's timed, that's it. You never touch it again. They can't slip. It can't go out of adjustment. Not like points. They wear and they slip. Once you've timed, once you've timed it, and also you only have to time it on one cylinder because it's preset for the other two. Again, with points, you have to time each. That's why you've got three marks because you have to you have to uh, get the ignition timing set for each cylinder separately. But with electronic ignition, you set one. Set it once and forget it. Tying it up, it's done. Never touch it again. Okay, uh, so that's uh, you know that's about it for that. So what all we need to do now is uh, 
work out a way of routing the cable up. Now, I haven't got the exhaust fitted at the moment, so I'm not going to tie things down because you want to make sure, obviously, this cable is not going to touch the exhaust. Also, you want to keep it, according to the instructions, you want to keep it away from the HT leads because, again, apparently, um, the... Uh, I'm just sure I'm doing this. Anyway, keep it away from the HT leads up here because, again, apparently it can... Uh, you know, the, uh, can't get interference from the HT leads. Okay, uh, yeah, and I just checked, and I thought, now, which way did I run this uh, wire from the points cover on my bike? And, of course, I suddenly remembered I don't run it up there uh, anymore. It comes down underneath the engine, which is just a bit neater. It's well away from the exhaust, and there's one less cable running up the frame. So doing that on, on mine as well. So that's got the, I've just put the cover on loosely. So that's a aftermarket points cover. And I've just very loosely done the, uh, that cover up as well. Just so I don't lose it, it'll be a while, you know, before we start the engine, need to re-time re things. So, uh, so then we're going to connect up the, uh, the black box. So we've got the wires here. Uh, five wires coming from the uh, uh, plate down there. And uh, we've got the instruction manual, and that clearly says white, yellow, brown, green, red. So from the top, it will be white, yellow, brown, green, red. Okay, those are the wires uh, coming in from the, from the sensor plate down in the points. So just going to put those in. Uh, and then we'll check the wiring from the black box. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that should be okay, but I'll check it anyway. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention before is, of course, don't forget to then remove the plug <laughs> because the engine is completely locked. It won't turn over either way. So uh, don't forget to remove the plug and uh, put the blanking, uh, blanking screw back in. So, uh, yeah, here we have the, uh, so I've wired up, this is the wire from the sensor plate. And so we've now wired, connect, made the connections in the black box, white, yellow, brown, green, red. And uh, then I'll check the uh, wiring, uh, th this wiring. So I think we've got one wire going to earth. One wire going to switch live, which should go to a white wire somewhere on the bike. Then we've got the three wires that go to the uh, um, that, that go to the uh, ignition coils. Okay, so there's only you know the wiring is pretty straightforward in some ways. Okay, so I'm going to check. I'm going to check that now. Yeah, so all these wires are okay. The black wire, which is a live wire. Let's go into uh, a switch live. Although we seem, what have we got there? I'll check it. So instead of a white, it's a yellow and white. I think that might have been going to the old um, uh, ballast, uh, ballast resistor. But I'll check that we have obviously got power there. And there's a 5 amp fuse. I have checked that there is a 5 amp fuse in there to protect the system. And then the red wire is the earth wire, and it's coming down here. There's a big bunch of earths down here now i think that's okay but one of the main causes of failure from my experience of these electronic ignition systems is a bad earth so i'm pretty happy with that but you know that's the first thing to check if you're if you suspect ignition failure then uh the earth is probably the first thing to check right then what we got we got some of the these are the old wires for the old uh, ignition system so don't forget all the uh, condensers, etc., are taken out. We don't need any of them. The barrage resistor, I think you can leave it in and wire it in. There is a there is a diagram for including the barrage resistor if you'd like. I think we haven't got it in this case. There's a wiring diagram. You need to find out whether you've got 12 or 6 volt coils. Okay, uh, and I think sort of wiring-wise, installation-wise, it's just about done. I've just got to put the... Uh, Put the back back on this and then screw it back onto the mud guard. And uh, basic installation wise, it's done. You know, it's, it's not that complicated. 
Um, and of course, when it is in and it is running, then you you, you do you forget it. it. It never it never needs adjusting. And last thing, of course, you have two wires on each coil. So the the wire from the uh, uh, from the box of tricks goes to the minus, and then the plus uh, wire because it's negative, uh, positive earth. They all go they all go to earth. Which again on this bike, these three on the right there, they're all the earth from the coils. Okay, so you want your your wire which for for this uh, number three coil is. Uh, black and yellow so they all go to the to the negative the different colored wires but then the earth wire the the uh, brown and blue they're all on the uh, positive terminal and they all go to earth